Hello everyone and once again welcome to Mate Tech. Today we're going to look at making some laser cut and engraved keychains. Before we get started on these, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do that. I'm going to show you how to make these keychains using some different methods and some different woods for variety. We'll be engraving some Nordic symbols on these applewood slices. We'll also be doing some Witcher themed rounds on both oak and poplar wood. We'll be using some 1 8 birch plywood to make some digital gaming keychains. We'll also use some quarter inch maple veneer plywood to make these guitar themed keychains. Let's start off by looking at the different types of material we're going to use in this project. Here I have some 1 8 Baltic birch plywood. This is 1 quarter inch maple veneer plywood. On top here I have a 1 quarter inch thick oak board. And below that is a 1 quarter inch thick poplar board. Here I have some applewood rounds. These are literally apple branches. I cut off my apple tree last year. I got a couple different types of eye hooks here. I have these larger ones and I also have an assortment of small ones. I think I'll mostly be using these small ones for this project. Here I have some little stainless steel ringlets and of course some keychains with a clasp on the end of them. If you can't find this hardware locally, you can of course grab all of this on Amazon if you need to. So the first keychains we're going to do are these guitar themed keychains and we're going to do both a painted and unpainted version of them. And I'll be using the 1 quarter inch maple veneer plywood for these keychains. Here we have the guitar keychains laid out in Lightburn. I'll be using Lightburn for all my projects today and I'll also provide links so you can download these Lightburn projects in the description below. For this project, we'll be doing the engraving at a speed of 100 and a power of 45%. And this is on my 50 watt CO2 laser. With the engraving process, we'll also be doing an outline trace at a speed of 12 and a power of 17%. To cut out these guitars, we'll be using a speed of 5.5 and a power of 65%. This will of course have to be adjusted to whatever style and power of laser you're using. As you can see, I've added some blue masking tape to the top of my maple plywood here. This will act as a mask for our paint job later on. It also greatly reduces the amount of residue left behind on your wood from the lasering process, which means you won't have to do so much sanding to clean up your wood later on. Next, let's look at lasering these Witcher themed keychains. We'll be using the quarter inch poplar and oak boards for these. For these Witcher keychains, We'll be doing the engraving at the speed of 100 and a power of 50%. And we'll be adding an outline to that engraving at a speed of 10 and a power of 18%. And we'll be cutting these out at a speed of 4.5 and a power of 75%. Next up, we have our digital gaming keychains and these will be done on the 8th inch Baltic birch plywood. These I've set up to engrave at a speed of 100 and a power of 45%. These are the only images from all our keychain projects that will be done as rasters so I've set these to engrave as grayscale. I'll then be engraving a vector outline to the image to add more contrast to it and this will be done at a speed of 10 and a power of 15%. Last, we'll be cutting these out at a speed of 8 and a power of 15%. To finish off our laser engraving, we'll be engraving these Nordic themed apple rounds, which turned out to be my favorite out of all of these. I'll be engraving these apple rounds at a speed of 100 and a power of 45%. I'll then add an outline to the engraving at a speed of 12 and a power of 15%. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and paint the keychains I want paint added to. I've went ahead and added some polyurethane clear coat to the areas I want painted and this will keep the paint from bleeding through to the non-painted areas. To paint these keychains, I'll just be using some standard acrylic craft paint.
After I've left the first coat of acrylic paint dry, I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat of acrylic paint to these projects. After the second coat is dry, it's okay to go ahead and peel off all your masking tape. After removing all the masking tape from my keychains here, I went ahead and gave them a light sanding with some 220 grit sandpaper. I'm going to go ahead and finish these by adding a couple coats of lacquer. I'll be using both a satin and semi-gloss lacquer on these keychains. After letting the lacquer dry, I have the semi-gloss ones over here on the right hand side, while I have the satin ones here on the middle and the left. The only difference is the semi-gloss sprayed keychains have a bit more sheen to them than the satin keychains have. Last, I'm going to go ahead and add the hardware to these keychains. For these softer wood keychains, I'm just going to go ahead and use this little hand drill here to drill a pilot hole for the eye screw. On these apple rounds, I'm going to go ahead and use a hand drill for the pilot holes on these. Because apple wood is so dense and hard, it's actually hard to drill into it using just hand power even with these small holes, which is the reason I'm going to be using this hand drill. On these digital gaming keychains, I'm going to go ahead and add some ringlets to the pre-made holes we already made with them on the laser. I'm using this method on these instead of using eye screws because the material is so thin. So that's all there is to making a variety of different keychains with your laser engraver. If you have any questions on this, please make sure to ask me in the comments. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. Thanks once again for watching everyone.